One thing that I want, to, want the, the listener at home to take home from this is that um, you might be searching for um, the silver bullet to the cure for whatever might ail you. Your muscular dentistry is more of a holistic technique, as Chad said. We never used any pain pills on you. Uh, we didn't give you Botox injections. Um, sometimes we use physical therapists to help you know, reset the body and loosen it up to get it to function better again. But it isn't about taking meds. It's about letting the body heal itself. Um, there's a class of patient that I quite often see that we, we call the wanderer. And they've seen EMTs, they've seen chiropractors, they've seen acupuncturists. They've um, had their eyes looked at, they've gone to headache clinics, they've done sleep studies, and they can't seem to get beyond the level of care that gives them you know, sleeping pills at night, muscle relaxers, and pain pills. Um, this doesn't fit for every patient, but there is a class of patient out there that is wandering and looking for an answer, and neuromuscular dentistry quite often sometimes has that solution. Um, it's something that we don't just pull a trigger and give Chad a bunch of crowns. This is a process that takes a period of time. Um, the first thing we want to do is number one, take a look and see is the bite possibly leading to the patient's problems? Um, and I have a, a system that I go through to help me decide that. That's, that's step one. Um, and then explain that and show the patient what I see. Step two is going to be if it does look like it's a bite problem, then we need to give the patient a new bite. And the way that we do that is with a removable appliance called an orthotic. We call it an orthotic because it's just like a, a leg length issue. If you've got hips that are out of balance, we want to lift the foot a little bit with an orthotic that you insert in a shoe. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use an appliance that goes in the mouth, fits on the lower teeth, it's clear acrylic. Chad lived with it for six to nine months, and that's about how long our bite test drive period is. Because we want to decide, is it or is it not the bite? And the only way to decide that is to give the patient a new bite. This is completely reversible. If it isn't working for the patient, we just take it out and the patient goes immediately back to the bite that they had when they walked in. So we do no rever irreversible dentistry. We use a removable appliance, test drive the bite for at least a period of six to nine months, make sure that that's what's ailing the patient, and then eventually convert the patient from a removable appliance to something like Chad's got, or sometimes if we're able to, we'll send a patient to an orthodontist and have the teeth move to a particular endpoint. Um, but that's the process, so it's essentially two phases. Phase one, test drive the theory of is the bite the problem by using the removable orthotic. We do have a fixed um, option for those patients that don't want to use a removable appliance. I prefer the removable, but there are some people that can't tolerate it, so we do have another way of doing it. And then phase two is taking the orthotic away and converting the patient to a bite that holds that ideal orthopedic lower jaw upper jaw alignment that facilitates head position reset, increased mobility, uh, flexibility, neural uh, recruitment of, of uh, uh, motor muscles, um, and then also just let the patient live in a better position.